The 2019 Arkansas State Fair Junior Livestock Auction Premium Sale is the culmination of a multi-year effort by Arkansas young people who've dedicated themselves to caring for and raising champion and market animals. For many of them, it's the first time to have their livestock judged to be grand or reserve grand champion. The youth are grateful for the financial investment of sales sponsors, including Arkansas Farm Bureau and other organizations which supports their collegiate education and helps prepare them for a potential career in agriculture. Today I have with me Love, Love Potion. I was selected reserve grand champion market goat at the Arkansas State Fair this week. Um, this is my first year showing goats. I've mainly been in the cattle industry, but my friend Kaylee Stone has ventured me into the goat industry, and I've been blessed to have so much help from the Stones and Kaylee herself to help me with this. It took a lot of hard work, duration, late nights, early mornings, and a lot of hot days of work. Just staying determined, knowing that it's not always going to go your way, one man's opinion, and you've always got to learn just to get up when it doesn't go the way it should. Well, his name, my dad and knowing names all my hogs I have over the years, and we have three this year. So we named them Bo, Luke, and Daisy from the Dukes of Hazard. That was his favorite TV show. And he got the lucky one to get Luke. And it just went from there. And from, we went to our first jet pot this year, and we got a grand market a cross hog overall. Mm -hmm. And then we went to the overall breeding and all that and he got reserve grand champion there and then that's when we figured out we had a hog and then after that we went to other jet fox he didn't do it quite as good but he always got that first or second ribbon in his class then we went to state here and we were like i just want to come get a ribbon that's all I, my goal and we walk out there and he, the judge is like that's the pig every time we walk out there you pick the one that beat me that one. Then here I come. Picked him. That's it. And then the next round, picked her. Picked me. And then for our division, then division overall, picked her. Picked me. It was just like that. The second we walked out, picked. Picked. Yeah. And then here we come for the grand drive overall. Picked her. And so talked to talked to a couple ten minutes. I'm like, oh please Lord, just let me get that buckle. Let me get that buckle. I walk out there and he's like, and he just walks up to me and I'm like, thank. Lord. I, that's all I really care about is that bubble, which is what I'm wearing right now. This is my second year showing steers. I've helped my friends with steers along the way, and I've always just liked them. I have shown heifers for, this is going to be my fifth or sixth year showing, and I just, I've just always loved it. I can't get enough. It means a lot. I've worked all summer long. I've worked hair all summer. I've done, I've skipped football practice to come and do this. I've I've done a lot of stuff and required a lot of stuff just to be with my steer. It's it's awesome. I wouldn't trade it for the world. His his weight, he was he was really good. He was really sound normally. I mean, the only thing that was different about him is that he had his legs spread out a little bit more than what he needed to. But if he would have just done if I would have fixed that, he would have won. But I'm happy with what I got.